Welcome back, everybody, and happy getaway day. We have the state dipping its toes into the critical race theory debate, a NASA organ growing competition, and at home STD testing. I'm Mike Morgan, and we're down in Alabama. Education leaders in the state of Alabama have been considering how they might be teaching race and racism in K-12 public schools going forward. And this week, part of the State Board of Education's message is to hold your horses if there are thoughts of teaching critical race theory in classrooms, reports AL.com's Tricia Powell Crane and Rebecca Griesbach. Now, you've probably been hearing a lot of debate over what critical race theory is and whether it should be used to teach public school children. To put it very simply, and probably not to anyone's liking on either side, it has to do with the theory that racism doesn't just come from our personal biases, but is a social construct that has seeped into American policies that systems were built around racist ideals, and that continues to be perpetuated. Critics of critical race theory may disagree with much or all of that, and also express concerns over the theory's focus on group identity, that it serves to drive a greater wedge between people who might then be labeled victims or oppressors based just on their ethnicities. States across the U.S. have reportedly been considering legislation to keep critical race theory from being taught in public schools. On Thursday, the Alabama State Board of Education considered a resolution. State Superintendent Eric Mackey said that after hearing from all board members, he worked with the Ivy administration on it. I'll read a couple of passages pulled from the resolution. The Alabama State Board of Education believes the United States of America is not an inherently racist country and that the state of Alabama is not an inherently racist state. Also, quote, No individual, by virtue of his or her race or sex, is inherently racist, sexist, or oppressive, whether consciously or unconsciously. And finally, that the resolution would prohibit the teaching of, quote, concepts that impute fault, blame, a tendency to oppress others, or the need to feel guilt or anguish to persons solely because of their race or sex. NASA's Centennial Challenges program held a competition based at Huntsville, Alabama's Marshall Space Flight Center to create lab-grown human liver tissues that can function similarly to those inside our bodies. AL.com's Lee Roop. The two winners were both teams from Wake Forest. They used different approaches with 3D printing to grow human liver tissue that could function for 30 days in the lab. Now, it was a contest worth winning. The winner won $300,000 and a chance to advance its research aboard the International Space Station. The second place team won one hundred dollars The goal here is to grow tissue that can be used to replace or bandage a damaged organ. Obviously, that would help with the shortage of organs we're always facing that we even talked about on another story earlier this week. The Alabama Department of Public Health has launched a program for people in Alabama to have delivered home test kits for sexually transmitted diseases, reports AL.com's Amy Yerkinen. It's for ages 12 and up, and it allows people to test for STDs without scheduling an appointment or traveling to a medical clinic. Here's the thing, though. You have to fill out a risk assessment to qualify, and those who are eligible can request a kit every three months. But it's free, and you can request it at adph.mybinxhealth.com. That's adph.mybinxhealth.com. Your reaction might be, well, if someone doesn't bother to go in and get tested, or they going to bother to apply here? We'll see, but this program is targeting people who don't have easy access to health care, either geographically or for whatever reason. And the goal, of course, is to try to reach people who might have STDs, such as HIV, possibly without symptoms, and going untreated. Now, in Alabama, we're still seeing more AIDS deaths than are necessary with today's treatment options. ADPH also offers free and confidential testing for STDs at local health departments. Thank you all so much for listening. Hope you all have a great weekend. Stay dry. It's kind of soggy out there. We'll be back here about Monday. Until then, stop by and see us whenever you can. We're open 24 hours a day and 7 days a week on the World Wide Web at AL.com.